All right, so we're back to the only game where you can make a sim take care of so many children that their one good skill as a mother is sobbing uncontrollably. It's The Sims 4. I have given LSD a beautiful home today for she will take care of an ever-growing family. And by ever-growing, I mean I eventually want her to get up to 100 children. I would do 200 children, but 200 people just completely breaks the game. In a moment, I will show you something that you cannot unsee. I have child-sized both Florida man and Australian man. And there they are. <laughs> These two psychopaths will be the very first children that we're going to start with with LSD so that she can get her feet wet before everyone starts being taken by child services. Oh, and I kitten size spleens and tonsils too and it's fantastic. <laughs> spleens' his head just looks like a fuzzy football and tonsils, he just looks like his favorite seasoning is still paint thinner. A lot of potential fire hazards in this house, candles and whatnot. Even LSD is watching someone cooking on TV because she's too scared to actually do it herself. She's like, not today, Gray, you bastard. There's bedrooms, there's a kitchen, there's a little fun area. There's a place for people to bathe that probably no one will use. The kids have computers so that they can learn. Although probably all they're going to be learning is how to slowly give LSD a mental breakdown. Run along now, children. Go ahead and torment your mother. I feel like if we're going to be working our way up to 100 children, we need a better backyard. Hold on. Is there like a barbed wire fence in this game? This fence technically is for chickens, but honestly, chicken starts with a C, children starts with a C. It's fine. Okay, we've got a hell of a backyard here. We got a freaking roller rink. We got a bunch of charcoal grills for the kids to set themselves on fire with. A bunch of Grim Reaper gnomes making an MMA ring for whoever wants to play basketball. For child fitness, we got the rock climbing wall so that they can understand how to escape places early yoga mats because cardio is important got a pirate ship because pirates are cool and no children's playground will be complete without a full liquor bar i also threw down some tissue boxes over here because i have a feeling that our mother's going to be crying the whole time i feel like right now they're having a fantastic conversation australian man's like hey i found a knife outside is it okay if i go hunting lsd's like well it didn't say not to do that on the google motherhood pamphlet i read and of course australian man's like got her where the hell's florida man at he's up here in the bedroom on the computer and it totally looks like i caught him doing something he's not supposed to i swear to god florida man if i look at this screen and it's anything other than Bud Light commercials. Okay, good, it's gaming. He's like, I never closed a tab so quickly in all my life. All right, Florida man, your posters are giving me an aneurysm. You get one damn poster, you can have this one. And here, here's a goldfish bowl. Makes you feel like you're back in Florida. Always remember to save often before you get to the point where the game won't load anymore. I, this is unbelievable. Florida man is up here reading a goddamn book. He's like, I gotta get all the intellectual stuff in before I get blackout drunk for the next next 12 years. LSD's over here freaking encouraging him. Clearly there's not enough children. We're gonna have to bump this up to 10. All right, we've got eight additional demon spawns out here preparing to make LSD's life hell. I like that the cats are still out here to greet all these kids. Spleens is like, with my eyes, I can see you. And at the same time, I can see you. That's right, little juveniles, everyone inside. Don't ruin your mother's life too quickly, though. We need to at least get up to 50. Ah, using my insurance trap, I see. Very good. This little girl's like, where's all the rum gone? It's right over there, little Sally. LSD's like, now the kids are outside playing and I'm all alone. I can watch some Ellis fun time TV. Ellis right now is like, how many children must I sacrifice to change lives? I just thought about it too. I don't think that there's enough fire hazards in the house for the children. Hold on one second. Hey kids, you like bonfires? You gotta have the, uh... The, the homage to Ellis over here lit up brilliantly during the night. I'm pretty sure a sim can't set themselves on fire with a microwave, but if anyone was going to achieve this, it would be Australian man. All right, LSD, listen, you got a lot of mouths to feed. Don't screw this up. You can't start any fires until we get to 40. Florida man's over here in his marshmallow towel. And he's like, I've already been arrested twice. All right, LSD's doing a pretty good job. I think we can add 10 more children. All right, you little monsters, you know what to do. Go ahead and shorten Ellis's lifespan. I'm just checking. Y'all know there's like a like a food and a litter box in there, right? I know that starving is easier than dealing with this episode, but come on. I like that all the kids are doing their own thing and Ellis is nowhere to be seen. Notice Ellis is not letting the children set these fires. Safety first. This little girl's probably like, Mommy, can I jump into the fire? And Ellis is like, when you're older, dear. Not smart enough. I've been trying to do homework for school. 
but the last few assignments have felt really hard. Maybe I'm not smart enough to do it. What do you think? Spend more time, practice makes perfect. Where's the, yeah, you're not smart enough button. What is this, Reassurance Sunday? I like how it's like a school night and all the kids are up. It's 12 midnight. I wanna be a ninja when I grow up. What do I need to do now to start getting ready for being a ninja? Start practicing your hiding and your assassinations. <laughs> Throwing dollar bills on the fire, y'all. I like how literally the only person sleeping right now is Ellis. <laughs> this kid's over here on Instant Messenger. He's like, while Ellis is asleep, I can talk to my online GF. Real quick, you know you're an experienced mother when there's four children having a conversation and you're asleep three feet away. It's a brand new day. These kids are basically taking care of themselves. Clearly this isn't hard enough on Ellis. 10 more children it is. All right, we've got 20 more victims this time. I decided to go with 40. I've got to make all these people child-sized. This guy's like, I hated my childhood. I don't want to go back. And I'm like, you don't have to pay taxes anymore. And he's like, you know, childhood doesn't sound so bad. All right, kids, your battleground lies ahead. Go forth. Ah, little terrors. Now we're talking. School starts in about an hour, like anyone's going to school. There's kids over here making like a marble Sunday, and Ellis is still asleep. She's been asleep for like 12 hours. She's like, I know how to survive, Gray. I just have to never wake up. She's like, I don't need children. I have this unicorn to keep me company. I like how there's like rotting food and bonfires inside. This little girl's like, oh, it's nicely decorated in here. Ellis just started a fire over here. She was like, I don't want the kids to trip and fall if it's not well lit inside house. Everyone's late for school. Ow. Education's overrated anyway. Ellis is being surrounded by all the children and she's like, check please. A balanced meal. Someone said eating dirt was okay, but someone else said eating dirt will make you die. Is it okay to eat dirt? Of course it is, child. I love how this girl is getting ready for life in the prison yard. I am highly impressed at the lack of flammability that 40 children possess. Guess this means we're gonna have to bump it up to 60. All right, everybody, go ahead and enjoy the house. The uh, open bar's out back. Oh, see, everyone was just chilling until I mentioned the open bar. Now everyone's starting to go to the backyard. I'm just getting the kids a couple of extra toys to play with. There we go. That was weird. I put this knife down and this little girl just like immediately teleported on top of it. She's like, I claim this blade is my own. Here, don't fight over them. Here's another one. I would say that we're getting somewhere because the house is slowly starting to fill up with human filth. But honestly, this is pretty typical for my Sims. Florida man, why you out here all alone? He's like, Gray, I'm so sad. The bar's all out of Bud Light and my bottom lip has an issue clipping through my top lip. Wow, you guys are even trashing your outdoor area. You know what? Go nuts. That's it, little juvenile. Yeah, go ahead and shoot some basketballs. All the deadly gnomes are watching you. They're all here. They're like, yeah, we're trying to provide some uh, positive reinforcement for the kid. We told her that if she misses her shot, uh, we'll feast on her soul. LSD, you're looking pretty sad. What's the matter? We're only at 60. There's 40 more to go. Anytime I forget what the whole point of this is, I zoom out and remember this. Alrighty, 20 more children it is. Ellis is over here telling stories by the campfire. She's like, let me tell you kids a completely fictional story about a woman with 100 children and absolutely nothing left to lose. Yeah, it's so weird. One day, all the children were gone and all that was left was 100 piles of bones. No one could ever identify whose was whose. And then the woman was free to watch wonderful nudie TV and have sex with men. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. She almost set herself on fire. That was close. I was gonna say, I don't know if any of the children know how to operate a fire extinguisher. LSD, if you burn yourself down, you're it. Ellis can now give timeouts. Thank God. That's it, child. Just go ahead and roast the hot dogs right in the middle of the house. Florida man is smelling like garbage once again. There are several showers and baths inside of the house, but he... Even at this age, he's still Florida man. All right, Florida man, I can finally force you to do stuff. Force to pee, what the hell? Like in the middle of the floor? That's awful, I'm not doing that. Instead, I'm gonna turn you into Cinderella. Clean up the urine puddles, Florida man. The amount of dirty children is slowly beginning to expand. That's right, Florida man. No glass slipper for you. <laughs> God, at least one person knows how to put away the dishes. Jesus, I'm not gonna lie. This looks like a young version of Karen Starbucks. All right, half the kids are living in squalor and half the kids are not going inside the house. They're just living outside. I think it's time for the final hundred. Oh my Christ. I just noticed that at night, 
The demon gnome's eyes all glow. You, Tom Chen, get over there and play basketball in front of all of the demon gnomes. Don't screw up. You don't want to become one of the missing. All right, the urine puddles are starting to expand outside of the house now. All right, let's see if they can manage to function. This young Sim is standing in front of the sink. She could wash herself, but her mother sucks at teaching her any skills. Hates children lesson. Donald hates children. Does this mean he's filled with self-loathing? There you go. You're doing some supervision now. Oh, you almost killed your child there, but it's okay. Denzel has learned the following traits about Devante evil. These kids are perfect for this family. All right, so Ellis has decided to stop bathing at this point as well. There's like a slowly growing procession of filthy ass smelling wafting children <laughs> skating in a circle over here that's right <laughs> that's right little children this is how you learn to toughen up how's that wood feeling it's cypress you know more children don't have beds or anything anymore they're just sleeping on the ground this must be a comfortable spot there's a lot of children sleeping out here by the roller rink just redoing some of the fire pits over here one of the little child sims aged up into a teenager so he can help with some of the load Ellis is experiencing. Can you kids not urinate by the fire? You're gonna put it out. Oh my god, I have to click on all the school starting. God, it's like a whole freaking movie theater over here by the TV. Since you kids are wetting all over the place, I need to put down newspapers everywhere. The upstairs is just a war zone of filth and urine and sleeping children. This is amazing. LSD has gone comp- What the hell? Oh, shh. <laughs> One of my children spontaneously combusted. He's not even near a fire. He's in the middle of nowhere. He's in the middle of the house. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, Christ. Okay, the, the fire is spreading pretty quickly. Florida man, no. Everyone run. Jesus Christ. LSD, LSD put out the fire. She's completely catatonic. She doesn't know what's happening. <laughs> What are you all doing? The front door is right over there. They're all like, oh, we can't get out. I didn't lock the doors on you. Run. <laughs> They're all like, LSD never taught us fire safety. All we ever learned was how to be ninjas and smell like shit. <laughs> They're just running in circles. <laughs> LSD still isn't doing anything. She's like, serves you right. Okay, we have two, like 10 smart children that are running outside of the house finally. I can't believe that Florida man was the one to start this, no. Oh no, it's just a pile of foul smelling beings. I want you all to know, this right here is a perfect picture of what motherhood is like. LSD's like, nope, I'm out. <laughs> well, Ella's on the plus side, you made it out with half of them. Is someone on fire outside? Did someone bring the fire with them? What the hell? Could LSD hack a hundred children to take care of? The answer is no. <laughs> hey folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of The Sims 4. Till next time, stay foxy, much love.